preparation of alkynes. You will recall that treating an, al an alkyl halide with a strong base causes an E2 reaction where we've got proton transfer and loss of a leaving group and this creates one pi bond. So, if we want to make an alkyne, we need to make two pi bonds. You'll recall that an alkyne has two pi bonds. That means we need to do two eliminations. And if we're going to do double elimination, that means we need to eliminate two things. So our substrate should be an alkyl dihalide. So here's a simple alkyl dihalide. It is a three carbon chain with two chlorines both attached to carbon number two. In other words, 2,2-dichloropropane. Now, to do two eliminations, we need to have two equivalents of strong base. We're going to use excess sodium amide. The amide ion is a very strong base, and we'll have excess. And then we're going to work it up with water and we'll end up with this. Propine. Next we'll look at the mechanism. In the first step, an amide ion takes one of the beta protons. That sigma bond becomes a pi bond and the leaving group leaves. giving us 2-chloropropene. We do a second proton transfer and loss of a leaving group to get propine. Having a third equivalent of amide because this is an excess gives us a final proton transfer and allows us to precipitate out all of our reactant as propinide ion, which pulls the equilibrium all the way to the right, so the reaction gives close to 100% yield. The sodium propionide precipitates out. Water is used to work it up as a weak acid to supply the proton to our final product. And we have propine in high yield. The propine that we just made is what's called a terminal alkyne because it's got an H attached to one of the sp hybridized carbons. What about making an internal alkyne? The simplest internal alkyne is 2-butyne. internal because the triple bond is attached to two R groups rather than an R group and an H as we saw with the terminal one. What substrate would you use to make this 2-butyne? Pause your video now and draw a substrate that would work. Then you can unpause it 